we give you your daily dose of what's happening now. Today we're talking about a new social media tool called 20 Feet. Recently, 20 Feet was launched and it basically kind of concise form of putting everything together and offering you a dashboard look at all your different social media sites. Most of us have several different sites and when you go to try and look at the analytics of each of them, it takes a lot of time to log in, log out, and keep track of what's actually spiking people's interest and what's not taking off so well. So 20 feet is a good way of consolidating that. Yeah, it solves a big problem for all of us because we're on a ton of different social media sites and we want to keep track of all the interaction on it. So we're going to do a quick rundown of all the different programs that it allows you to take advantage of. First up is going to be Google Analytics. A lot of people use Google Analytics for their blogs, their websites, single property websites, things like that. What this dashboard allows you to do is it's not quite as robust as the Google Analytics dashboard is, but it does give you a quick streamlined look of what's going on, your, your, um, your page views, what people are clicking on, what they're looking at, all of those kinds of things. So you're not like me and going and checking Google Analytics you know, 15 times a day or an hour or whatever. It allows you to have that streamlined look of kind of what's going on on those different sites. All right, well next up is Facebook pages. And so many times we've talked about maybe having several different pages, some of them on a specific community or a specific area of town and really developing your niche. So as many times as we've talked about that, if you've followed through and you have those different pages, this is a good way to be able to see the activity on each one of your Facebook pages at one time. And following that up is Twitter. Mm -hmm. The Twitter allows you to see, just like Facebook, exactly what you would see if you logged into your account. But this kind of gives you a better idea of how many times things are being retweeted and looked at versus having to log into Twitter and, and each Facebook page. Things. Exactly. Exactly. Next up is going to be Bitly. A lot of people use this as a URL shortener. Um, and what this allows you to do for both Facebook and Twitter, what this allows you to do is keep track of all of those different links that you're sharing. And it's a really great tool because if you're sharing the same link on multiple different social media sites, it basically says, well, here's where all of your interaction is coming from. It's coming from Facebook or it's coming from Twitter. And it allows you to figure out what content spreads more easily on all these different platforms. So you don't necessarily want to write for a certain platform, but if you do write a few different stories, maybe this one does better on this type of site or this one does better on this type of site. So it's very helpful for that. The last one is going to be YouTube. Um, a lot of agents don't have as many videos as we have on YouTube, so they're not logging in as frequently to check you know, the analytics there or the comments that might be going unanswered, things like that. So this allows you to be able to see what's happening on your YouTube accounts without you having to log in there, which a lot of people are forgetting to do. So, This is something that we've talked about with many agents, no, no matter what type of agent you are, whether that be with the title company or a real estate agent or maybe you're an insurance agent. But many people have expressed to us that it's just really hard to keep track of all the social media networks as a whole. And maybe this will give you a good idea. It might kind of rule out one for you sure, that you're not exactly. having any activity on. So this is a good way for you to get an overall view and figure out where you're best marketing yourself and your business. It's huge, guys. I cannot wait to dig in and really dive in and get a good idea of what 20 Feet's going to be able to do for Chase us. Chase is Mr. Analytics. I, so I love it. I think it's going to be fabulous. Yeah. Next up, guys, <laughs> is going to be Facebook Lockdown. Um, we've talked to a lot of agents recently about this, and what it basically boils down to is your clients might be sharing a bit too much on social media sites, so it's important to make sure that their privacy settings are set accordingly so they're not losing leverage in negotiations because of what they're sharing on Facebook. Some of this might seem elementary for us to bring this up, and some of y'all might be scratching your head going, okay, yeah, doesn't everybody lock down their social networks? But really, honestly, there are a lot of people out there who don't lock down their social networks. And maybe your client is one of those people. That being the case, if they are a buyer and they continually post things on their page, such as, this is my dream home. I would do anything for it. I can't live without this. I would give every penny I have to get this house. Um, things like that, if the seller gets a hold of it or the seller's agent, happens to see something like that, you could definitely lose a lot of leverage. Yeah, and then for the seller side, if you're over there sharing things like how many viewings you've had, how many showings you've had, different things like that, or 
you know, here's what our house is listed for, but oh my goodness, we would take X, you know. Ooh, that's a problem when it comes to negotiation time. You lose a ton of leverage that way. So just make sure that you're on top of your clients and make sure that they have all of their sites locked down. Just one more helpful hint to let them know that you're really going the extra mile for them, mm -hmm. that you're watching their back. Absolutely. Hey guys, if this is your first time viewing us, be sure to subscribe for free over on the side. Uh, we would love some common interaction down below on your thoughts if you have any sort of negative stories about what your clients have overshared or anything like that. And of course, if you're excited or if you've tried out 20 feet, we would love your take on that program as well. You can always follow us on Twitter or check us out on Facebook. And as always, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Ready? Are we filming? No, or we're trying we to. Yeah, we're trying to. No, we're trying to, we? to test your your audio oh, here. Oh, my audio is not. I already, on. Yeah, oh, yeah. you turned me on. <laughs> Fabulous. Do uh, not. Does this green screen make me look fat? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>